Hi, this is Chen Wen from Finale Inventory. In this video, I'm going to show you how Finale pushes stock quantities to Etsy variation SKUs. So this is my Etsy test account. And you know, one of the things that it's been a big pain point for Etsy customers is the inability in the previously the inability to push up stock quantities when you have variations. Recently, Etsy has rolled out a new feature that is enabled basically variation SKUs um, for their products, for your variation uh, products for your listing. So for example, uh, I'm selling polo shirts in this listing. So we have basically the options are blue and red. My SKU, which is new, is polo blue and polo red. And the quantity is one of each. So um, I'm going to show you how now Finale can be connected to the this account and push up stock quantity so that way uh, Finale inventory can be used to manage your inventory and push up stock quantities to these new variation SKUs. Okay. So the first thing we do is open up Excel and what you do is you create a mapping file that associates the um, product ID to the lookup. So in this case the if I go back to my account my two products are my blue polo shirt which has a product ID of 500 and my red polo shirt which has a product ID of ramen 2. Okay. And then if I go back to my Etsy, the two SKUs are polo blue and polo red. So, you know, there's two ways to do this um, to create the mapping and the association. One is through an Excel file here where the three columns, one is the product ID, the product lookup, which is the marketplace SKU, and the connection name. In this case, it's called the Etsy, Etsy SKU. Um, also, you can also create the same kind of association within the interface itself. So it's pretty handy to do the bulk import when you have a lot of lookups. But if you're doing one or two, if like for example, there's no reason why you couldn't just do them, add them directly in the interface. But let's just go continue this example. So I'm going to import here. Copy this and then import into Finale. And what I do is I go to Home. I click on Import and Export. I click on import to batch and create product lookups. Okay. So here's my product ID, here's my look, and here's my store. Or connection name, probably the better term. Okay. So now if I go to my view stock, you, you see the blue post shirts has um, a quantity on hand of zero, the available of 100 because there's a purchase order of 100. So that result, finales would push up zero because there's nothing available for us to actually sell. Um, on, you know, basically remaining is basically quantity on hand minus out any outstanding commitments. So in this case, it's zero. So I have zero for my blue polo shirts and zero for my red polo shirts. If I click on this blue polo shirt, you know, we go to the product details page, and what I want to kind of quickly show is if I scroll all the way to the bottom. This is where it says my association between my product lookup and my store. So in this case, what I'm looking at is the po blue polo shirt, and it's associated with my Etsy SKU as my connection name. Okay. So now let's say that we have a purchase order, like we have right here, of these products, and the shipment has arrived. So I went ahead and created a purchase order before, and basically we have we're expecting 100 blue polo shirts and 80 red polo shirts. So let's say the shipment has arrived. So I'm just going to basically receive them in now. Uh, so I'm just going to receive them in. So Finale is configured or designed to push up stock quantities, uh, push up stock quantities to the marketplace whenever, whenever there's a stock change. So before we had zero, but now we have 80 or 180 respectively because we just received it from a shipment. So from here, you normally Finale will push up those stock changes automatically uh, because it pushes up stock changes within five minutes of any stock change operation. But instead of waiting five minutes, I'm just going to hit run task now to manually force it to Finale to push up those stock changes. So if you see here, if I go to view stock, I think Finale has finished. As you see here, here's the two quantities. The red post shirt has 80. And the blue polo shirt, blue polo shirt's 100. So that's from the status log. So let's see if you go to Etsy, if it updated. So I go back to my products here. I uh, scroll down. 
Um, and here you go. Here's 80 and 100. So let's make one more adjustment uh, just to confirm it works. So let's say that, for example, we found, for example, two of the polo shirts were damaged. So I'm just going to make a quick stock change here. Let's say with the blue polo shirts, um, we had we found two that were defective. So I'm going to subtract two. So now the new total is 98. So if we go to view stock here, we have basically 98 remaining to sell. So let's go back to connections. Again, for now, I would normally push these stock changes up automatically within five minutes. But again, we're just going to manually run it uh, to, to force it to run. And that's done. So I go to view status log, you see it now it's 98. And lastly, if we go and refresh the screen here, we imagine that the 100 should change to 98 for the blue polo shirts. And there you go, 98. So that concludes this tutorial. You know, that kind of shows you how Finale um, has the ability to also push stock quantities up to the variation SKUs for Etsy. Uh, it's a new change for them, and subsequently it's, it's a new feature that we recently built um, for our Etsy customers. Uh, if you have any questions about this feature, feel free to email us at service at finaleinventory.com. Thank you.